Today, we are headed south to see the world's largest erosion crater. This crater is 25 miles long, 6 miles wide, and its depth 1600 feet. We will visit three major destinations in the Ramon crater that are located alongside one of the most scenic roads in Israel. Our first stop is Mitzpeh, Ramon a city that sits on the edge of the crater and is the only city in this remote area. Mitzpeh Ramon is located in the deep south of Israel, in the Negev Desert, about two and a half hours drive from Jerusalem. This city was once a camp constructed in the 50s for the workers that were paving Highway 40. This highway connects Beersheba to Eilat. Since then, the camp grew into a city, which became a major tourist destination due to its incredible first row view of the Ramon crater. It's actually not a crater, believe it or not, it's a mistranslation. This is an erosion cirque. What that means is it once used to be the same level and it eroded with certain geological processes. There are hundreds of videos, websites, and books explaining the theory behind the formation of this crater. And they all come to the conclusion that a river that still flows through this desert slowly swept the soft sandstone away and over a long period of time carved out the world's largest pit. And if looked from above, it resembles the shape of the heart symbol. Whoa, guys, look at this! Okay, babe, enough. Wow, this is quite the drop. My feet are tingly. Come back, come back, come back. Very cool. In a hot summer days, this place gets to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, really hot, which is about 40 degrees Celsius. But in the nighttime, it drops 30 degrees to a 70 Fahrenheit. It's pretty chilly, which is like, I don't know, 20 degrees Celsius. So you better be equipped when you come here in the summer. It gets really hot in the daytime with the sun, but it's kind of chilly at night. To get to our next destination, we must take the zigzaggy road down to the bottom of the crater. At the end of the descent, we were supposed to take an immediate right turn. But of course, my superior navigational instinct tells me to take the left. With us today are very dear friends coming all the way from Russia, Dr. Shuvalov <laughs> and his wife Victoria. Wow. Oh. Uh -oh. It looks like we're in the wrong place. Uh, we drove 20 minutes into the desert crater. <laughs> oh. How, what do you guys think about this place? Oh, this is so beautiful. The yeah. best place in Israel. This? Yeah. Please tell us who brought us here. Uh, so, Rhoda says we should go here, and I was saying, no, no, I, 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 yeah, it was my fault. Because we're from cold, you know, piece of land, green, a oh, lot warm. of forest. Yeah. yeah, and this is dessert. This is why I think it's the best part in Israel for us. Uh, it's not it's usual different. for you. Yeah, yeah very for you the north is the best. Why? Because you like a green. Yeah. But for us, we always in a green place. Right. So this is something unusual for yeah. us. What are those things? It's like white yeah. on the... Do you see it? I see it. Maybe it's salt. Foam or something. It looks know. like salt, but I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Vika? What is your favorite place? I don't know. I like green. You like green? <laughs> yeah, I like green. Yeah. <laughs> Why would, why would there be salt in the desert? Let's yeah, take a no look. Idea. There's some over here. <gasps> well, tell us about your experience. It tastes like salty sand. 
I think I'll be poisoned. We'll keep a watch on you. Drive 20 minutes back through this desert road. I hope we can make it before sunset. So this is so cool. We're in the middle of the Ramon crater and in the middle of it there is this mount of black stones with square shapes and hexagonic shapes. It's just bizarre. What is this? So apparently this used to be a volcano that exploded and the magma melted the sandstone and crystallized it into these black stones that now are like squares. Look at this. Isn't that cool? It's gonna be like a handle for something. So see, that's a sandstone, but at the top it's black because it got crystallized by the magma. Look at that. Wow. What are you doing? You never know when you need some. Just a few feet away is our final destination, the colorful sands of the Ramon crater. Ah, do you see that? It's a pink rock by the water. It looks like pink sand. And here it's purple. The Ramon Park workers collect colored soil from around the crater and place them here for the visitors to see. This is a great experience for children, but also some adults. So we got here the stone that has this purple color and we got this uh, harder, I think crystallized limestone or something like this. I'm gonna try to rub the two against each other and see if we get any of the purple color. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now you can use this for desert masqueration. So, it has few layers. And this one, it's beautiful. Like it's purplish on top. Um, and then it's black, gray. And then it's like sandy, pinkish color. It just has beautiful layers. I like it. All right, is it better? Why are you laughing? Not really. Oh my goodness, what's happening? <laughs> okay, that's going in my eyes. That's not good. It's a big star. There are some small. Let's try it. Infected water is in my eye. Now it's in my it's mouth. Hard. It's salty. It's in my mouth. It's in my eye. <laughs> it's salty. What would you do to your face? Is it still visible? <laughs> it's all over you. <laughs> all right, are we ready? Yeah. With us today are our very dear friends, Dr. With us today are our very dear friends, Dr. Shuvalov. <laughs> 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 Number three. And with us today, <laughs> with us today are our very dear friends, Dr. Shavala and Victoria, his wife. Hey. Hi. Take number. <laughs> with us today are our very dear friends, coming all the way from Russia, Dr. Shavala <laughs> and his wife Victoria. Wow. Uh -oh. 